Hi friends, I'm Katie. Welcome to my animation portfolio video. Today I'll be sharing my portfolio and some nonsense about my college application. First of all, I applied for five art colleges, which is SVA, Pratt, SCAD, Cal Arts, and Art Center. SVA accepted me with a scholarship of and ACCD also accepted me with no scholarship. SCAD accepted me with a scholarship of I think five thousand dollars per year. Cowards rejected me and Pratt put me in waitlist. And that's all. And in case you might want to know, I'll be attending SVA in this week. Besides, I think it's necessary to mention my academic stats and background just for reference before sharing my portfolio. I'm an international student from a non-art-based high school in Sydney. My TOEF score is 107 and I did not submit a SAT score. Um, but for GPA, I'm actually not quite sure because we don't use GPA in Sydney but my ATA for HSC is 91.85 just you know and um, by the way visual art is my worst subject and I think it definitely affected my application and for activities I had an internship at an architecture company and I also took summer program of animation fundamental in USC. I think overall it's quite average and that's all about it. Let's get straight to the business. For my portfolio, I have 20 pages of work in total. I'll put my work on my iPad so I might not be facing the camera. As you can see here, I included 7 pages of observational work and 13 pages of creative work. For SVA, your portfolio must be between 15 pages to 20 pages for animation. So I started the portfolio with two drawings from my sketchbook. And I intentionally put these two pages at the front because I did draw a lot of details in this two observational work and I think I'm quite satisfied with it. Um, moving on to my second page with, which is a short term figure study and I really suggest you to include both short term and long term figure study in your application and also put on the exact time you use for each work. So, long time figure study for my next page. Moving on to my next and final figure study for my application. I use crayon and some colored pencil to do this work. And I just want to show the admission that I can use various material. But I believe I use too little color for the observational section. And I suggest you guys to use more. The only animal study I included in my application and I suggest you guys to include more at least two pages I guess but I'm very bad at drawing animals so that's what I did and not sure if it affects my application. Some figure study of hands and feet. In case you want to know I use my phone to scan pieces from my sketchbook. Finally, some digital observational work. The first one is me and my friend having a Japanese barbecue lunch. The second one is about me, mom, and my little brother taking a walk along the Zhujiang River in Guangzhou. One thing that's important about your portfolio is that never draw from a pretty picture took by a professional photographer. If you can't sketch from life, at least sketch some picture you took yourself. For my creative work, I put a illustration of my first story of ghost marriage in Tang Dynasty. I choose to put this piece in the first place of my creative work as it conveys loads of information and the feeling of being isolated in the whole world is, I guess, well established. A character lineup for the story, the villain, two main characters and the nanny. Uh, 
let's do the character looks a bit flat and okay. I also created two keyframes for this story. The first one is the maid attending the ghost marriage that would take her life. The second one is the two lovers find that they're forever separated by the death. I did not focus a lot on the perspective, but the colors and composition. And so character design, motion design, and facial design. Just find that my volume for the character is extremely not stable. Anyway, moving on to the illustration for my second story. Two roommates are having a conflict, but they actually have a good relationship. I was inspired by my relationship with my roommates. And I really did spend a lot of time and effort for this piece. And it turns out looking good, but still. Mm, it looks a bit messy in the room because I'm not, not, not well designed. So, some shit character design looking like I, I was really trying to show their completely different personalities so i trying to use the shape to show it not really successful anyway uh this is the very first storyboard i did for my portfolio another character lineup of a bunch of teenagers in a high school badminton club which is also inspired by my experience in life oh I really like the tubilium on the right side because I was inspired by I mean crop coach and gorilla. Thank you. Really like this one. It's the last character design I did for my application. Also a more specific character design for my main character. She's very brave and like outgoing competitive girl for um that means she's really trying to win every time doing a motion design of her being a bit aggressive a facial expression and i also put my final work for my um, visual art for hse here this is a children book about the negative effects of one-child policy in China, inspiring by the brochure during the 80s. I first used crayon and color pencil to draw these illustrations on paper. Then I scanned them and sort of arranged into a book using ink design. Anyway, a short animation reel from me. I did it in 2021. I also included some work from my USC summer program here. I think I did it. I did most of my work with Procreate, um, including those animation work. And I did a bit with PR as well, but not with the drawing part. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it and please thumbs up for this video and I'll put my Instagram here. Please follow it or just don't follow it. I mean, anyway, just do what you like and bye.